So this is still blowing my mind right now. A group of investors, uh, they get together with a group of Pokemon YouTubers, uh, including um, Guru, who is, I think his background is in cryptocurrency, and he was the one on Logan Paul's show or Logan Paul's channel. He was one of the main people promoting himself on that channel and that live stream. So obviously then now he has more appeal and he's able to try to attempt to sell a $375,000 box that he bought a month ago for $150,000. So again, I don't really see why um, someone would be so greedy um, to try to scam someone because you already are making $225,000 in a month. So let me repeat that again. You already make $225,000 in a month why do you need to uh, reseal a box? So it's very strange. It is very weird. This whole situation is weird. And it is um, this guy and two other partners. One of them is another Asian um, who is also in cryptocurrency. So it's a lot of these get quick rich guru schemes going on right now. And I, I don't really know what to make out of it because all these Pokemon experts, including I think Lean Heart is there, another Pokemon expert is there. Lean Heart's the largest Pokemon YouTuber. And none of them figure out this is a scam. Like none of the, everyone looks at the box, the seal box, and says, yep, this is legit. Here's what I look for, and this box is legit. Uh, and none of them figured this out until they opened the box. And then at that point, yeah, it's definitely resealed. And you can see that people are nervous. You can see people are sweaty. You can see people are not comfortable anymore as soon as the box gets open. So it, it's very interesting um, what has just happened. Because if they're going to do this for first of this in Pokemon box, which is less old than alpha beta first edition pokemon came out during uh mirage um, i remember it being in the gamestop around urza saga so you had first edition pokemon boxes you know that were ta are tampered with uh, that are more recent than what could be tampered with in urza saga beyond tempest and so on stronghold so what makes you think if you buy Stronghold box that that Stronghold box is not tampered with or an alpha box or an alpha starter deck or I mean these are very valid questions. If you're going to invest a large sum of money into the in booster boxes, even the experts in Pokemon, the supposed experts in Pokemon have no idea this is fake until it, it hits them in the face. And these cards are from 2020. So clearly someone opened a box or something happened. They resealed a box in 2020, this year. And the chain of custody that supposedly happened, the story is um, the guy had free boxes. They sat in a gun safe for 20 years. And then when Pokemon blew up, he went to sell the boxes, took them out of the gun safe, sold them to the bold guy and the Chinese guy and the guy and other guy. Uh, and then they re for 150000 and then they resold it for 375000 after one month. That sounds like a good story. I mean, you bought something for one hundred and fifty k, and now you sold it for 375000 after a month. Real Good on you, dude. Good on you. But you needed to make the extra one fifty, right? So you sold him a fake box. This should ring alarms on everyone who's investing in boxes. Because, especially the older stuff, the technology clearly exists. I mean, you're looking at the Pokemon expert, Lean Heart. You're looking at the guy in the center is a Pokemon expert. The guy who's bold is the Logan Paul's Pokemon guru. His name is Guru. He calls himself the king of crypto, which should probably be like a good indicator something is wrong. Uh, but nonetheless... All three of these people, uh, the Asian guy, they, they all consider so themselves Pokemon experts. They know what to look for. They know how to identify fake boxes. They know all of this stuff. And yet none of them said anything was wrong with the box until the box was open and it became 
very, very apparent that, you know, this is um, a scam. So how do you know that Arabian Night box that you bought a year ago is not a scam? How do you know that Urza Saga box you bought 10 years ago or five years ago is not a scam? You do not know because I'm here to tell you for a $400,000 object, no one, not none of the Pokemon experts in sitting across that table, all of them really famous Pokemon people, including Leonhart, I believe is there. Logan Paul's live stream. Um, the guy at Logan Paul's live stream. Leonhart needs to stay as far away from Guru as possible. But Leonhart's part of this now. Like, there's no way. I mean, he's sitting right there at the same table looking at this great box saying this is legit. And then suddenly the box opens. Um, you know, I, I think it is pretty uh, crazy. Um, the, so the story is the owner had free sealed first edition base set boxes locked in a case for 20 years. However, there are 2020 cards inside there, so the box was just recently resealed, and the story doesn't add up. So either the previous owner before Guru is a total liar and fraud, and never had these free boxes locked away for 20 years, or Collectible Guru pulled the ultimate reverse scam and where he swapped out the boxes. So again, you have a group of investors who don't really know very much about Pokemon. It's the same with the Martin Scorze, Skelly, whatever his name was who was going to buy all these Black Lotuses and they're going to inject money. Um, I just find it, it's very, um, how should I say, it's very sad because it just turns me off buying older, bo like at $400,000, that's the price of a home. That's the price of a really nice home where I live. Imagine buying it, not opening it, and putting it in your storage for another 20 years and then reselling it for, let's say, a hundred or a million dollars. Only to find out it's fake. And this is not the first time. There's another um, person on YouTube who also had a first edition uh, booster box that was fake. And then he opens it and all, the rare was always Pokemon Breeder. Now, the cards were not from 2020. <laughs> So, I mean, it could have been resealed. That story kind of made more sense. It could have been resealed many years ago. And he had this box for many years. It just blows my mind that this can happen. But at the same time, it makes perfect sense to me that this is going to happen. And the more valuable the cards become, the more likely this is going to continue. I mean, clearly, you're looking at Lean Heart, one of the biggest, if not the biggest Pokemon YouTuber. You're looking at Logan Paul's YouTuber guy. You're looking at the another famous YouTuber. I mean. So let me read you this. Watch live as we buy and open the most expensive first edition Pokemon box in history from Logan Paul's personal Pokemon consult consultant, the Collectibles Guru. We have a briefcase full of cast and multiple Pokemon card experts to help us verify the box is authentic including YouTuber Leanheart. Be sure to watch at the end. These dudes have no idea what's happening. I mean, these dudes have no idea what's happening, right? Leanheart says this is legit, and they all clap their hands. Even the security guy in the background is disappointed. Um... I mean, even the security guy, shame that someone like Guru has to bring down good people like Leanheart with him. He's no expert and it's shame to see actual Pokemon novices being influenced by someone like him. Oh wow, I didn't see that coming. Highly entertaining, but someone is out of a lot of money. You all notice how nervous Guru once was once he was told they were opening it live? He was doubting the box left and right after that. So basically what happened was they did not know they were going to open the box. They do not know he was going to open the box. And once they told him he was going to open the box, then he started saying the box was fake. Uh, update. Guru has first edition based pa sets, packs for sale on eBay right this second. Wonder where he got those from. Um... That is crazy. 
basically when Guru gets to the corner of the table and sits down. In Watch Until 24 Minute-ish, Guru mentions he didn't know if he wanted to open the box today. Definitely sus that he said that. Yep, check out his eBay now. My admin team in TCG Kingdom informed me of the packs he has for sale. So all these other Pokemon YouTubers and celebrities are now trying to gang up. So Guru buys a real box of 175000 then sells your all fake box pretending it's a real one. You all open it up live and then he calls the seller and says it's fake we opened it live. He gets his money back and keeps a real box shaking my head. Please don't ruin our hobby that we love. It's not all about the money. Um, biggest scam in 2020 so far. The clown guru said the guy told him he had these boxes since his he was a kid and his parents bought them after he was told that the 2020 cards are in them. He said he said the buy bought them a month and a half ago. He's lying out of his ass. I mean, this is insane. I mean, it is absolutely insane. I don't, I mean, I've watched this video like so many times and I, I do get sick enjoyment from it. But at the same time, I mean, this is who you're dealing with. You're not dealing with people with jobs. This is their job to scam you. I mean, this is what they do for a living. <laughs> they sell Pokemon cards. <laughs> My guys, for $400,000.